If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high tide and we can't lose. Come and draft away with us. So today we're going to be fitting a wind generator. So in the end, we went for a Rutland 24 volt, 1200 millimeters diameter. <laughs> she's about four foot in American. Four foot. Yeah. yeah, she's four foot. It was the biggest yeah. one they did. Hmm. So we're gonna go and get that fitted up on the roof. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, we've got the got the three blades, the little adapter which goes in between the the 316 tubes. We've got the actual generator itself. Which um, is quite nice because I notice it doesn't. There's no cogging to the call it, so it doesn't go do 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 as it goes past the magnet. So I think that'll help it get to speed easier. Uh, we've got some big, fat four millimeter tinned wire. Um, got our homemade brackets, which we made in the workshop. Box of fittings and stuff like that and then the um the main brains behind her so the um the charge controller and there's like a braking device and xyz so that's going to go very close to the batteries then we've got this remote display um which is going to go up here so we can monitor it so we don't have to go down to the engine room and stuff like that to actually see what we're making so should we fit it let's go, go. There we go, that's my job done. I've just built it. Do you want to hold it out and let me do a test spin? Make sure it goes round the right way and stuff. Yeah. Go on then. It's got a big blade. Hang on, look. <laughs> it's trying to turn on its pivot. Okay. I can feel a slight draft. You know what that is? Our biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did say we're, we're not going to mess about with this one, but the only fun is the only feel like we do serious. Seri we're going to do a serious video. And there she goes. You know us, though, we're not serious people. <laughs> anyway. Look at that. Beautiful. That's nice, that, you know. Uh, look, I've, I've just noticed, though, the wind comes in, it's nice. I was wondering what all this was for. It's a big heat sink, isn't it? Oh. So then the wind comes off this, and then it'll cool itself. Very nice. Okay, what Small you, things in life. Small things. What, what are you doing? Uh, I've set to drill hole, because me... The tube comes up here, and then the pivot, and then the wire comes through. So I needed somewhere for the wire to, um, to go through. I'll just, to, I'll just give it a quick galve spray. So. Okay, so we've assembled the bracket now. Uh, this is going to be fixed to the the turret, turret, whatever it's called, and then, so then it can it can come down for servicing. Even put a nice little rubber stop on it there, so it's like beautiful. All right, do you want to go and see what's been going on upstairs? Why haven't you been upstairs? I don't like it <laughs> because the roof's like look. It's like falling in. It's solid, this roof. It's not. I've got like, I'm not scared of heights. You're scared of falling. I've you? got a fear of falling. Just don't look down. No, but it's like, the roof is like made of tissue paper because it's that rotten. I don't like being upstairs. You know what, you could fall off this and break your bloody neck if you were, if you, if you were that unlucky. Right, come on, should we go? Yeah. Bet she freaks out now. So we've made some, installed our brackets. Here comes Gemma, clinging to the edge. Ah, I'm gonna fall and die! So now... Oh, all, no. What? Cool. So now all we have to do is undo these two here, 
and then the whole the whole thing will pivot down. <laughs> then, then, then I'm oh. doing. I'm just. I can't film and do that. See, this is why I don't like the roof. It just falls next to the edge. <gasps> so now this now will just come down here now, so that we can now work on it. There is the plan. Cool. Plan now. Go downstairs. Put, connect the wire to the turbine and then the turbine to the upper pole and then we can then just come up here and shove it in. So, let's go and get our head around the turbine wiring. So we've got a wire coming out of our turbine, wind generator thingy. We've got big long roll of, what was it, was it, was it, I'll tell you what it was. Four mil. Four mil tinned cable, three core. So four mil, which is 12 gauge. So we're gonna attach these into a chop block and then put them on the other side. So we were, we were gonna solder them, but the way I see it, if we ever have to get it off, we can get it off quite easy. Or if we have to, have to do testing, we can probe the wires, but I mean, it's all tinned. It's quite a special chop block. It's not a normal. This is what was supplied with the generator, and these are marine generators, so I'm sure Rutlands know exactly what they're doing and have provided us with the right things. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, cable ties and cable ties on, so it keeps the slack out and you can't pull. Ah. can't pull on the drain. So, I know it's a bit bodgy, but... Extra precautions. Precro Pre yeah. Can't say it. Precautions. Precautions. Yeah. That's it. I hope I connected them up properly, otherwise we're not getting back into that in a hurry, are we? <laughs> I was gonna fill it full of glue as well, but Let's test it first. Yeah. And if you're taping something up as well, we start at the bottom because then you overlaps if water gets in. Oh. So it works like a little gutter, isn't it? Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> yeah. Highly recommend before you connect your 15 metres of cable, <laughs> put your pole, put it through your pole first. Not that we need 15 metres of cable, we just bought... Well, I bought extra because there's nothing worse than feeding all the cable all the way down and going, oh, well, that's shy. Why are the washers that shape? Why are the washers that shape? A million people at home now again. Did you see them? There's a perfectly good explanation. So we got loads of vibration, don't we? Potentially. Yeah. yeah. So now and basically lift up these, yeah? And bend that one down. So what's it done now? Can't come undone, can it? Can't come undone now. Can't... So th this one's folded over around this way so we can't go round. Mm. And that's against the um, the flat. There's um, there's one. There we go. Well, it's 
isn't that clever? Don't even have to read a book or anything. <laughs> you just knew. Yeah. Ah, I like the styling of it. It's like it's like a blue whale or something, isn't it? I just want it up now. So we're struggling to get the large cable down through. It's like the, basically the air intakes to the engine room, but there's all sorts of baffles and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's a noise or something like that, but it was hard to get it past. So Gem had an idea of dropping something heavy down. So got our biggest spanner on a rope. That should go down nice and straight. Um, so here we go. You there? Spanner. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm going to leave a lot of loop for now. So if any water, all the water that comes down from the turbine will then technically this drip from here rather than going down into the cable. Right, so to the engine room now, we're going to wire up the controller, because obviously the wind turbine is laid flat at the moment and it can't turn, because we don't really want it to be producing electricity when we're messing around with wires, do we? So if we know it's stationary, it's not going to make any power. So to the engine room. So we now need to figure out where we're going to put the controller. I know you've been here for more than longer than me. Oh, big John. So as I was saying to Gemma, this whole area here is going to be redesigned because you might have noticed that we're building our own DC generator, aren't we? Yeah, where's that going about here? Um... But basically between the two batteries here, so these batteries are going to be moved, and it's going to be going around there. So... That's plan. Might we put up on the wall there? A nice little space. Because then it? the wire can come down into your batteries. Yeah, and it's dry, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what you need to do? Me? Yeah. It's like oh, Spaghetti oh, Junction, isn't it? Off higher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 yeah, because it. Yeah. yeah, it was a sign to somebody. Somebody was going to come and do that. They never turned up, did they? Yeah. So, yeah, at some point, they all need tidying up. But I didn't want to tidy anything up until I've got... Everything in. Everything in. Yeah. I know where the stuff's going. See, like, all this wiring here, that's all the bilge pump wiring. Ah. But in the future, I'm going to be making a little control box to go there. I do. So that looks a bit safer than Yes, there. exactly. Yeah, it's done. Well, it's not unsafe. It's just unreliable. Yeah. Do. Right. I mean, have you ever seen... The phone. <laughs> Switch the phone, Andre. Hold on, but if you put it on, it no, might work. No, it just doesn't. It doesn't work. It doesn't. Who's your phone? Hello. Hold on. Have you changed the batteries? You ring the bridge. Hello. <laughs> I think you know. It bridge? will. It will communicate with upstairs. Yeah. Have we got a phone upstairs? No, but it, um, the 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 radio thing. Ah. Anyway, so we're gonna put the controller there because it's nice and dry, safe. It's got good ventilation, as we know. Well, we've got flashy lights. Woo! Battery one is flashing. So, what we need to go and do now? No, no, no. It's got this cable, yeah. So big three oh, phase. Okay. But yeah. So we'll connect the wire to the charger and then raise the turbine up because it's <laughs> down at the moment. I'm just looking through the windows. <laughs> There's lots of flicker of grass. <laughs> it's not windy. <laughs> it's, just it's just our luck. We put it off and there's no wind so we can't even see it working. But so wire it up. 
Mm. Raise the tear band, yep. and then I can press go on that, and then that should. Oh, you have to press go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you want to shut it down, right. Well, when you turn it on, yeah. obviously we haven't got any solar connected, but when you turn it on, press and hold that for three seconds. And then and, it goes green or something. Yeah, and then it'll go green. Oh. And then, it, so obviously the flashing at the minute is saying it's like not charging. Or it's charged. I don't it's know. Charged, it? It's charged. Yeah, and then when it's solid green, it's it's charging. Uh, okay. Uh, and obviously, so let's go and connect up the wires and raise the mast. Raise the mast. We're about, we're about to get your big fan out. <laughs> <laughs> cool. As Gemma said, raise the fan. Is that right? Is that what you said? I said lift the mast, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> hey, do, does it mean we're in a sailboat now? We've got a mast. <laughs> no, we've got another propeller. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could like, yeah, run out of engines or fuel the smart. We could actually power the turbine up and it'll pull us forward. <laughs> 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 Holy cow. If it's high enough. <laughs> Can't even see the top of it, hold on. Right, I'm gonna go and power it up. Let's see if it moves. Powering it up. Oh, she's starting to turn. Hopefully it gets windier. It's just out looking at it all morning. Did it? Oh, I had air defenders on before because it was howling, it was really hurting my ears. I was thinking this is going to be a good day for a wind turbine. But we'll see. I've just cut my hands open. But the issue I've got is I can't let Simon do it. There you can. He passes right. out with the size of blood. Yeah, right. I walked out onto the bow. Gloves. And you know the pieces of metal that we used? to put the sheets on, you know, that, that silver band. Yeah. There's a bit of it sticking out. And Not big enough. <laughs> Two of them. This is, this is very deep. Duck tape. Like, very deep. Okay. Um, I don't really this know is what all to we've do. This is all we've got. Right, we're going to need, like, some... It's, I think this is going to need stitching, to be honest. I'll do it. <laughs> I told you, what did I say? Right. Since I'd done it, I looked and I went, oh! And then I've literally just had my thumb holding it okay, together. You, you just keep it to it. Yeah, yeah Mills, you do that. I'm going to get some duct Mills, will you just wipe this blood for me? Because Dad, it if it stays. Yeah, it's, no, it's okay, just, just because Daddy isn't good with blood. That's it. I'll keep it closed. You just wipe. Okay. I think, um, I'm scared to open it, to be okay, honest, and I'm keeping it closed. You look away, just, just so no, I... No, I'm not... The... Oh, fucking hell. Do you want to see, guys? Yeah, it's good, though. <laughs> well, let's get a plaster on it. Um, yeah, yeah, I need then... to, like, keep it together. No, I've just had a plaster. Be quick. Yeah, I'll just give us some tissue, because I'm bleeding all over the place. Oh, that's good, yeah, that's, that's a good one, though. Poor mum. It's a good one, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to have a nice scar yeah. there, aren't I? Looks like we're going to have to pack up, but we finished the generator, so that's on. We've just installed lights at the front, um, yeah, but I need to because this is bleeding quite a lot now, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching! <laughs> this is not how I planned on ending this episode, if, to be um, honest. If we don't see us again, it's because... we um, are bled to death on yeah, the way to the Yeah, and I can't put the videos on to YouTube, so... <laughs> Um, just wish me luck. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you <laughs> next week. I'll let you know how I'll get on. <laughs> right, so this is actually a week later. Because, One week later. <laughs> because, idiot girl here, 
cut a hand on this. So but I didn't let me have a day off. Well, you had a day off doing washing and stuff, didn't you? <laughs> I had to peel potatoes. <laughs> anyway, right, so wind generator's on. It's been on for a week. All week, we actually pointed one of our security cameras at it, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, and we knew we sort of had a problem. Well, we knew it was a really not a windy week, but yeah. it was turning really, really, really slow. Really slow, and we're like, it just doesn't look right. And I couldn't put my hand on it because it's so high up um, to actually turn it, but... We think it was in like a brake mode because when we got back to the boat it on the controller it was saying floats and i was like that's that's interesting it's how, it's how it floats so it turns out all it needed was to be disconnected from the 24 volt supply and reconnected because when we initialized it the battery was disconnected but i left the lights on because we've got a, a 24 to 12 volt dc converter so the lights stayed hot so when we plugged it in, it was it thought it was a 12 volt system. <laughs> so obviously it was going, I'm well overcharged here, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give my input. Anyway. So all week it's been just in its safe mode. <laughs> so I disconnected it, plugged it back in, and it was like, oh look, yeah, I'm gonna make you some power. Great. So today is the first time it's yes. actually produced any power. Yes. Uh, it's still not the windiest of days. It's four meters per second at the moment. But and apparently it, it doesn't even kick in till five meters per second, but it's working. Yeah, it's yeah. working and I've yeah. been keeping an eye on the monitor today and we've sort of peaked at like 72 watts. Wow, on the watt meter So it's not windy and we're still getting power. So I think now this should like be perfect for us because all yeah. week when we're not here, mm. even at low wind, it's yeah. charging. So yeah. that should be enough to... Replenish the batteries basically. Yeah. yeah until our bank yeah so i've got one downside about this wind turbine <gasps> what is it can, can you hear, hear it <laughs> right. yeah but the boat is silent isn't the it? boat is silent at the minute obviously when we've got a radio mm. on or whatever you can't hear it but i think when we come to sleep on the boat i'd have to switch it off of a night which you can turn it off because it's basically it's been off all week because it's been in break mode so i think we'll go upstairs we'll show you a whizzing round yeah might get a bit of wind noise up there um I got the radios and I might do a test turn off because yeah. I've not actually turned it off yet. So, so should we try that? Should you do like an emergency switch the switch, switch it off in case? Emergency, is it? Yeah, but we'll just <laughs> switch it off! It's, it's not like fire. trying to stop the engines, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so like, Come on. Let's go. So because of the, the frame rate, I don't know, 50 frames per second, it's probably it's not really showing it spinning. It even looks like it's going backwards at some points, but um she's definitely going like a good one. Yes, everybody, you ready for power down? Yes. Powering down. Now that is impressive, isn't it? It's just stopped it. That's perfect, over. Do you want to go for power back up again? Powering up. So at the moment on our little wind meter so, so technically it'll only kick in at 5 meters per second but it's making power below there so I think we've got some really really clean air up there haven't we? Because like, look how high she is and then we've got nothing out there really so apart from some, some more wind turbines right in the distance Maybe we should have just hooked into one of them down there. Oh. Big extension load. Yeah, big cable all the way out there. Size of them ones. So as you can see, today is very overcast and it's not that windy. So I thought on a day like this, which is gonna work better? Solar or wind? because the wind speed that we're recording like at the bow is only about four 
I think it peaks at five meters per second. Five meters per second, and that's when our wind turbine just kicks in. So let's do a little comparison. So this is the wind turbine. So we're on. We are thirty watt. Oh, Sixteen watt. Solar's winning at the moment. Fourteen watt. Twenty-two. It's thirty-five watt. Thirty-seven. This, okay, so this was running quite a bit harder before. And what's the solar doing? 45 yeah. watt. Pitiful. Considering the amount of panels we've got on the roof. The solar's staying quite stable around the 45 watt mark. And the wind generator, obviously, because the wind's not great, it's when we get a gust, it has gone up to 72. <sighs> Records. So you're on 0.4 of an ampere, yeah. 0.5 of an ampere, so, oh yeah, 0.9, 1.4. Kicking ass now. Yeah. 55 watts, see? See, the solar's more constant, but the wind generator is fluctuating a bit. But as we said, we've got hardly any wind. Yeah. Um, so it's not a steady speed no. sort but of... Overnight as well, this will just keep chugging away, chugging away, chugging away, and the solar yeah. won't. So, I think in conditions like these, yeah. I think we made the right decision to go both. Yeah, yeah, we've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. Obviously, solar will only produce eight hours a day if we're lucky in the winter. Yeah, and um, um, the I'm wind generator yeah. is going to produce day and night. Yeah. So, I think even though the solar's peaking a little bit higher at the moment over the span of 24 hours yeah the winds is going to win hands down so i'm happy with that what we'll do is I think we made the right choice didn't we going both yeah because we were going to put more panels on weren't we yeah. but i'm so glad we actually invested the money um definitely and you know we're, we're, we're just going into winter now so yeah. the next couple of months solar's not going to be the greatest thing well, in the world i've noticed the this sort of descent of the um yeah so what we'll do is we'll keep an eye on it over the next couple of months uh, uh, yeah. and we'll come back and give you an update of mm. what's been better for us during the winter mm. we can't really give you an honest opinion of it at the moment after two only... hours of running <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely yeah it's great definitely amazing but at the moment it's making power so that's all i'm bothered about so thank you so thanks. much for watching yeah. um tune in next time hopefully we're doing some frames i'm excited about doing some like, actual woodwork <laughs> yay. yay and by next time um, I'm due to have my stitches out and I might be able to use a hammer. I think I should take the stitches out. Anyway. <laughs> it might be easy than trying to get a doctor's appointment at the moment. So. Yeah, like... Who thinks I should let Simon remove my stitches? Not right. with a grinder though. <laughs> See you next week. Okay, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye. And